It's my first listening session for this governor. I've gone through quite a few listening sessions before, and I'll tell you, the difference is stark, absolutely stark. Uh, we're hearing from people who are happy with the budget that uh, the governor has proposed. Uh, it's been delightful to hear the support that's coming from the people uh, for all of the work that has been done. This is interactive. People are conversing with each other. They're challenging each other. They're supporting what they believe is the priority in the budget. And they're broken into smaller groups. Um, I would say the education group that I just stepped out of is the biggest one. And, um, but there are different groups around the room. So I presume we're gonna be moving from this group into other areas. And the governor has been sort of circling around Oops. Well, I just really think it's important that all of us support the governor's budget. Um, it's the first time that I have been involved in supporting a budget that I'm just excited about and truly excited about. So I wanted to be here for that purpose. Um, in the past, we've just sort of been in a position of having to say, yes, you're right, this budget is terrible and we've got to do better. But for once, I get to say, yes, this is a great budget and I'm going to do everything I can to see to it that it gets passed and is functioning quickly. The education piece for me, it's the one thing that I, it's the reason I'm in the legislature is K-12 public education. So I'm absolutely thrilled that Tony Evers is leading the charge and the priority in the budget is education. Well, one of them was increased funding for school breakfast. At this point, Wisconsin is 50th in the nation on providing breakfast for kids, which is absolutely shameful. So obviously we can do better in this budget. Uh, the increase is up to 15%, 15 cents per breakfast. Um, that's excellent. Um, we heard from teachers who feel that they are not being respected, whose professionalism is not being rewarded with that, you know, the finances. Palmyra Eagle was here saying they have just passed a resolution or they've taken up the idea of dissolution in four years because they cannot afford to keep their doors open. Um, so funding education is really, really important. 